Kathy Holly and Spotlight. Hi, everybody. It's great to be here tonight. Ah, this is one of the first times I think I've had a filmmaker on my show. One of the few times over here, Alfred Hernandez. Welcome to the show. And over here on my left, Mr. John Steiner. We have worked together just last night, actually. Pianist, composer, photographer. Everybody has so many talents. I, I don't know where to start first. Oh, I think I'll start, John. I'm going to start with you. And let's tell the audience out there, where are you originally from? Well, I'm from New York City, but a little town called Whitestone, Queens. I have never heard of it, but well, that's all right. It's near LaGuardia Airport. That's why you just... Uh, okay, that, that of course. And we're going to kind of start backwards with your career. Yeah. A little bit. Now, when, when did you... Well, let's go back to the beginning. When did you start into doing professional music? Oh, professional. Well, wow, that's interesting. They say uh, when you're getting paid, that's That's right. The first gig I got paid, well, I mean, it was the late 70s, early. I wanted to do it as a living. Uh -huh. I was working at the phone company. It wasn't working out for me. I really, I wanted, and so I got hooked up with a band, R&B group, in probably 1981, 82 in New York, Manhattan. And... Um, and, and then, then when did you move? Well, we started here. doing gigs with, with New Edition then, and then I came out to California probably about 40 years ago last year, Southern wow. California, and I got a taste of California. Yes. You know, Bakersfield, L.A., all these places, Ventura. And then in 85, I moved out to L.A. So it was it really influenced me just coming out here. I knew some band members lived in L.A. and stuff, so yes. that was what brought me out. But I was already, I, that was it. I started playing gigs probably in New York, Around 1980, 81, that was the beginning. So you were into music from the very beginning. Yeah. And you mentioned something about people in your family were musical? There were people that played at church, uh, bands, they sang, all different relatives and friends. And so you were surrounded. There was a lot of music. music. I'm the only one who went into it as a living. Aha. Uh -huh. And you do people. make a living somewhat. Let's touch that. No, I shouldn't say somewhat. What a crazy thing to say. When did you come to San Francisco? Um, that was 89. Yeah. And how does the photography come into the music? What, what is happening here? Well, the photography, I've, I've always been interest in, interested in photography. Mm -hmm. And it was really actually, the, in a way, it wasn't, just, it wasn't the beginning of the smartphone, but the, it's true, the iPhone has really sort of, mm. revol I mean, it's so easy. Sure, it's not like having a really expensive camera, but it's so easy. So what I do, uh, I have sold some prints before, but I basically sell gift uh, re gift cards, you know, with my photos on it. Oh, that's so great. And that's really a nice, I certainly couldn't make a living. I could if I really pushed it, but but it's okay. it's fun because it's, uh, everywhere I go, I, oh, look at that, take a picture. Well, which brings me to the fact, where how do you, yes, where do you take these pictures? I know you love to walk. Everywhere I walk or drive to or travel, and, you know, mostly California lately, so. It's wonderful. Well, I know that we do have mm -hmm. some footage of a video of your photos, and you added the music? Yeah, I composed the music, uh, you composed electronic music. It. Yeah. Electronic music, mm -hmm. now wait a minute, for people out there, what does that mean, you used your computer? Yes, it's done on, uh, it's a software called Logic Pro, which has oh, a yes. lot of sounds, and I had fun doing it. And so it's all original. Mm -hmm. Well, let's take a look at that video first. Definitely, that's so much fun. <laughs>
That was really interesting <laughs> and lovely. Now that's, you know, a lot of people out there have seen those gorgeous pictures now mm -hmm. and they're going to want to say, how can I maybe buy one of these cards? What, do they go to your website? Yeah, they can reach me through my website, johnsteinermusic.com. Right. John and Steiner yeah, they are available Music. on cards also. I can print them up too. As, oh, that's great. As, uh, to hang, so. I, and I noticed in your photos, I love roses, mm -hmm, and did. you really mm -hmm. took some beautiful shots. <laughs> and what about the car? Where did that come from? That was great. That's a Sequoia Country Club I played at. That was a gig I got in 89. It was, I've been there 35 years. But oh somebody gosh. had a 49 Cadillac convertible, and it's like, what an amazing car. So I just, it's just something I threw in. It's fun. No, it's I mean, great. California photo. It's just great. And the shot of you at the piano is terrific. Mm. Oh, you yeah, know. that's there, too, yeah. That's, that's fun, oh, and the selfie. tie, and the shirt, and mm -hmm. the, I love and the suit it. That, that, was, that was terrific, too. Thank What's you. your favorite place to hike mm. around or into? Because everything okay. we saw no, was um, gorgeous. Wow. Different vistas. Well, I, uh, locally or? Yeah, locally, because it looked be... like that was the Bay Area, mm. mainly. Yes, well, uh, there were pictures. Mount Tamalpais is a great place I go often. And it's also a beautiful place on the peninsula. I drive through here sometimes. Um, San McDonald Park, ah. down La Honda. That's an amazing oh, place. In Usually, La Honda. no one there, just deer, turkeys. Wow, oh. it's like so amazing. But uh, whether it's north, south, east, but those are two places that I go often. The two areas, but and that, then just walking around San Francisco or Pacifica, I like the. Uh, I go on and on the uh, Devil's right. Slide Trail. That's where that one of the last pictures was taken. Oh, the Devil's Slide area. Coming up there. Yeah. That's it, that, because that's mm -hmm. so gorgeous. Now, your music that you compose, mm -hmm. what, I mean, what style of music? Now, that was perfect for the video, for the for photographs. And, I mean, I'm trying to think of what, you know, I've heard some of your original mm -hmm. compositions. And you do have some on your website, right? Yeah, it's not, yeah, I do. I mean, there's a lot. I have also have a YouTube channel that's more recent. Oh, tell us and about that. And that's where right. this is taken from. Well, how can people look you up on YouTube? Mm -hmm. Good question. Uh, John Steiner is my site, but right. um, yeah, it's, um, is, I think that's how you find it. I mean, it's, uh, well, the name of that video was called California Gold. That's the name, that's a gorgeous what you name. Look up, yeah. It is gold. Remember Yule Hauser, California, wasn't that the name of the show in the 90s? You He's know, PBS. Wow. I did not watch TV in the uh, 90s. Well, I, I was working more in music then. <laughs> well, <laughs> or, I was busier. It was a wonderful show because Yule Hauser, he had that accent, he would take you all around California gold. That's so beautiful it. Places. That, that's so great. Now, when we, uh, we're kind of walking backwards here. You said yeah. you worked with the New Edition yeah. group. All right. So this was... In what, what years, what well, circa? Well, basically it started in the early 80s, and we went little gigs around the New York area and also the islands like Jamaica, the Bahamas, Bermuda. I had never even flown in a jet oh. before. Uh, you know, and it's like, that was 81. And then, um, then did the MCA Records got involved in 84, 85. Big concerts, huge coliseums. How was that? Did you enjoy it, that? Well, I was a rock. It was wild in the eighties. I'm, I'm not. Gonna, I mean, it was. We. I, I had no idea how lucky I was to be doing in front of ten, fifteen thousand people. Sometimes. You how know. did you get the job? It, it, we were just in the band, and it just evolved into that. It just exploded. So and the I, new we, edition started out as a small they Los were, Angeles band. No, they were from Boston. Yeah. Who? Boston. They're from. Oh, from in Rockford. Boston. That's where they're from, but. Uh, locally, we had some other, it was a lot of connections happened in New York, and then it, then it blew up to L.A., which is not surprising, MCA right. Records. Right, MCA. And we were, then the big tours started. So I just happened to be, I was lucky to be carried along for the ride. You were. <laughs> <laughs> and that clip that you want to show whenever you want to get to that. Yes, who were you working with? Tell that me, who was the solo? Okay, new edition, that was Bobby Brown, 1985, singing Mr. Wow. Telephone Man. Mr. Telephone Man is And it's song. at the mall in Washington. And the estimated it was over a million people on July 4th. Oh my gosh, this is really... That's and there were many other famous artists like Mr. T and the Beach Boys were headlining and all that. Oh, stuff. I, that's fantastic. You had a, really had a great experience. So you I, mixed and mingled with all these stars. I was in my 20s. I had no idea how lucky I was to be out there. Oh. Gosh, so you're such a baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's so well. young. Okay, now let's, let's show that footage. Okay. of what you were doing. To all the people who love America! 
I love that because the shots of you with your blonde hair. Oh, that was quite a lot of work to that keep. That was it. a lot of work. The 80s. In the 80s. Mm -hmm. That look is a great look. <laughs> I, You know, they always say fashion rolls around again. You know, there's a circle. I think it's come right back. Well, <laughs> I think it, you could do that look again. A lot of products. Why not? A lot of products. I'm doing my look. I've kept it going. <laughs> you know, great. I try. I appreciate it. That was <laughs> That's fun. That's great. That's a great, and that was a big hit. That was the yeah was by it? Ray Parker Jr. I think that was that was a big hit for New Edition. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Did you write any of the, their songs? Well, I or worked not? with them on their Christmas album and got some credit, but um, mostly I was just on the tours and things like that. So did uh, they treat you nicely? Well, we they see they had management. There were four tour buses and four trucks, <sighs> and so Amazing. we had our own bus. So we didn't see them a whole lot. That was an easy gig, and we play three shows a week. The show was about an hour. And then we'd be hanging out in some place in San Antonio or <laughs> Kansas, some some town with, with a hotel. And so, and yeah, that was it. It was amazing. And Bobby Brown later married Whitney Houston. That's right. Little did we know that would be the future for him. Mm -hmm. That's quite a story. Yeah. But you had you've had quite a career, and it's not over yet. Since you know? there, since San Francisco, a lot of stuff too. We haven't time to talk about all that, but it's okay. I know. Well, I want to lead into yeah. Alfred sure. over here. Alfred, you two met. How did you meet? Because uh, Alfred is a filmmaker. Uh, and of course, you uh, met John, and John has put, well, some of his music is in your films, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Exactly. And you've written the music. Mm -hmm. We've collaborated. And collaborated. Or, or I've used some music that mm -hmm. John had already created. Like in this video, you're going to see music, uh, a piece where has, John did the music. A piece of his, but then I use it in my video. Well, yeah. I want it I, as I, opposed I, to a soundtrack. There, yeah. there is so much to talk about here and to show. There is your movie that I, you know, want to show, um, and it's called the Big the um, Little House uh, <laughs> <laughs> with the Big Cry. Yeah, exactly. The Little House with the Big Cry, and the title is so unusual. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, well, right. I think we should show that first, and then talk about okay. you and what you've been doing. Sure.
end of part one. That is really amazing. That makes you think. Uh, And the music is perfect for it. I mean, I really got into the film. Tell me, first of all, who is in the film? Who are those darling children? Yeah, uh, well, these are my nephew and my niece, Uh, Alexis and um, Alex. And part of the reason why I could go into why I made it. Yes, I want to know because the little house, I get that. Yeah. And but I'm in this poor man mm-hmm. that's living in this little house. Yeah, and he's sad. And he's sad and no and one cares about him. And they're trying to cheer him up. They're trying to cheer him up. Yeah, yeah. And and so and what happens in the end? You'll have to watch. <laughs> you can watch it on I YouTube. I think I the have. Full, the, full, but I <laughs> the full videos on YouTube. Okay, <laughs> that everybody. Was for the audience. <laughs> if you're waiting to see what happens, you've got to go to YouTube and you look up. Uh, well, the you little can look house up the with film, the big cry. Little House of the Big Cry. And, the uh, and my name is Alfred Hernandez. So of that will be my channel. Uh, yeah. And how long is the film? Uh, about five minutes. So we saw half of it. Right. Yeah. Now, all right, and you came up with that concept. Yeah, how did you ever come up with that and why? Well, the house is something I built. This is kind of like the story of my life and my creativity. Okay. But the house I built actually in the early 90s for another project that I did. And it was a replica of my mom's house, basically, or my parents' house. And um, I, um, th- I found that house when I was helping with my mom as she got older to c- care for her. Oh. And I found that in the garage, that prop. And so I thought, well, maybe I can make another film using that prop. Well, my mom was needing care, so I spent a lot of time going from San Francisco to um, Sunnyvale uh-huh. to care for her. Right. Then I came up with this idea of I could make a film, bring in my family, so I worked with my nephew, my niece as part of it, and then tell a story about this older person who's down. Right, very low. Yeah, and for whatever reason, that's how what happened with my mom. She had a period where she was really down, and I so I helped her through that, got her off all of her (laughs) medication and everything. So this kind of a story about that, and that's basically what my films are always about. There's some relationships I have with the the filmmaking and Uh with your life, my world, the 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 environment, or relationships, or yeah. And it's it's just wonderful. It's in silent. I mean, it's a silent film. There's no That's, dialogue. That yeah. usually, and yet we get the whole feeling. Yeah. And the whole exactly. wonderful Yeah, I, I, I was teaching um, uh, visual storytelling at the Academy of Art in San Francisco. Oh, yes. For, wonderful for place. For over 10 years. And so that's kind of my expertise is how do you tell a story within a short amount of time. And this got like some awards. And it was funny. This was partially yes. as a teaching tool. I wanted to show my students how to how to make a film and how to set it up, right? And then I uh, um, and I said I teach how to make a award winning film, and that's <laughs> and what that I'm working like, on with you. <laughs> yeah, and so it's funny. So, um, but what is amazing is you have more than one film. You have many films. Yeah, and you can see that on my website, my website alfredhernandez.com. And uh, we're going to flash all this, yeah. Yeah. So everybody out there can look you up because uh, you've done a lot of work. Yeah, I've been doing films since the 80s also, just like it's, John. And, and then you two collaborated. And, mm-hmm. and I know yeah. you're still going on making films. And I just want to insert that John still works as a musician. It's not like we're just talking about the past here. <laughs> you do a lot of gigs and different styles of music. And you still write. And you're still photo, you know, mm-hmm. a t- photographer. And you're still working on other films, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. In fact, I do a lot more uh, documentaries on the interplay between... Um, Creativity and mental health. Basically. That's really that's great. That big subject. Area that's been important. Yeah, me. mental health and creativity. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about. I was looking at your bio a little bit about the uh, mental health and the uh, gestalt. Yeah. Gestalt. Gestalt. Therapy. Gestalt. Yeah, Thank yeah, yeah, you. yeah. I'll get it right after the third <laughs> try. Gestalt therapy. Yeah, is it? exactly. All right, and how are you? with your own mental health. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'll, I'll say this thing about Gestalt therapy. The basic idea is there's an empty chair and you're talking to it and that's your father, right? Dad, I wanted to tell you, you know, you, oh, so you're, you're feeling it. something, but you're using this, this space and this shape to get mm-hmm. into your emotional self. Mm-hmm. So I could do that through my films also, a mask, 
you know, a story or whatever, something right. I can kind of face some internal mm. emotional stuff through and a process. spiritual, right? Yeah, a spiritual. A little bit of spirituality. So I consider it like gestalt therapy in a way. <laughs> well, that's, we have to look at your website, everybody. Yeah, definitely. You definitely do. And I mean, you are an award winning mm -hmm, filmmaker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I intend to stick with you. I mean, I think, you know, <laughs> award winning, it rings a big bell. We are wor working together on something. It's really great. And the two of you collaborated. All right. Can you tell us that story, how it happened? I mean, you mean just in the beginning of meeting or just collaboration? Yeah, the collaboration. Kind well, of I've known Al for over, well over 30 years. So we traveled, camped together years ago. I mean, so we've just, we've done, even in the 90s, we did music, I had some music for your films. And mm -hmm. So it's been going on for a long time. A lot of changes. We all go through different changes of where we live. Right, right. So it's and like. you still the, kept in, our, in touch. We still see each other, you know, it's amazing. And, and you're like, um, you, you work together though. That's, uh -huh. that's yeah. the wonderful part. I mean, I think creativity keeps you going. Mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. in every way well, for mm -hmm. an instance yeah, he, exactly. I think you chose that music when you did that because mm -hmm. you like that piece yeah exactly and that's fine go ahead and use it I mean it's from a CD exactly. of mine so I don't have to kind I of see. I mean it's just, it just happens there's exactly. that kind of zen thing with right. it's the same thing I mean I walk around taking a picture or when I come up with a piece of music it just comes through spirit in a way it's just like well it's just there if you're open to it and you know that you're an artist too. I mean, it's just yes. it's kind of this things uh, happen and evolve. Yeah, they, they sort of evolve. I mean, for uh, for example, I was wondering, see, which came first, the film and then the music, oh, oh, yeah. or the the music, mu the music yeah. first and inspired you to do a film? Does that happen? Uh, well, no, because no. I had other ideas for films. They were also John songs, <laughs> but uh, but uh, but it was just very clear. Like when I listen to music, I do get images. And actually, I had it. I was. Lucky, I had an older brother who we'd listen to classical music, oh. lay down in the dark, and then we would s talk about like, what images did you see? Oh, that's great. Well, I saw horses running through a forest. Mm. And I, so I had that as part of my upbringing. Mm. And so I, I feel like it's, I, it's a natural connection, like you know, John's music, and then I see things. But it, I didn't use it that way, but it works. Well, well the works. question you asked about what well, came first. Yeah, yes, the my, chicken the music the egg. My slideshow, <laughs> see, I, oh, yeah. I had the music I wrote for some other purpose for that. California Gold, really? and I added pictures to it. That's now, perfect. I also did a Mendocino video, just as a quick example last year, where I had the video, yes. and I added some older piano music to it. So it was like the, the That's video That's great too. From, I don't know, whatever comes first, yes. it just works. You just, it worked. And tell me about the Chicano real quick. We have a couple of minutes <laughs> the left. The Chicano well, influence. Well, yes, well, you are from uh, Mexico, your family is from. My family is from Mexico. What part? I, uh, uh, well, Jalisco and Durango. Oh. Uh, and uh, uh, my mom uh, was born in the United States in, in El Paso, Texas. And uh, so I have a big connection to this area. My, my family knows this area from the 30s. Oh, they, uh, yes. And yes. especially the South Bay. Wow. So I have a connection to the South Bay. And, and I go to Mexico every year. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm overdue now. I've got to take a trip. <laughs> but, so. but, and then my dad, uh, so in the Chicano movement, kind of got started in the late 60s. That's so he right. was kind of like, he was a little bit part of that. Yes, Cesar Chavez. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah, yeah, big I, part I, of he that. He may have worked with them or. I him. actually. Uh, received an award from my grandfather at oh, okay. a show oh, okay. in Detroit and he was and Cesar Chavez was honored yeah. because of the program of you know bringing the Mexican workers in mm -hmm, and being mm -hmm. able to get them paid yeah which exactly. was really important so mm -hmm. and that was very important yeah, big yeah. important times mm -hmm. you know and but yeah. I like that influence yeah. I was reading that and I thought oh interesting well, I, I want to finish it off with that because I did make a video specifically on that Ah, I call it, a, it. Uh, yeah, I call it a jumping fences, um, art, uh, mental health, and becoming Chicano. Well, on that so note, yeah. we have to tell everybody again to please go to the website, both of your websites, mm -hmm. because the show is coming to an end. We could go on forever. Yeah. So if out there in television land, if you want to see and speak to both John and Alfred, you know that you can search them out on their websites right and yes. contact you is it possible to post that on the tv show is oh it, it's posted oh, it is. Okay. it's already yeah oh, it's yeah thank you. so this is great well i want to thank both of you for taking the time tonight thank let's you. give you a big applause yay 
open house here at PCT is coming up April 21st. And I want to thank our audience that if you want to be on my show, Kathy Holly Spotlight, please don't hesitate to contact me or the station, kathyholly.com. I'll take off my glasses because I wore my eyelashes tonight. I've got to show them off. But I want to thank everybody for, <laughs> for tuning in, and thank you again, Alfred and Sean. And Sean and I will be working together April 24th at Le Petit Paris 75 in San Francisco, a very little cute lounge, I guess. Is that the word cute? Charming. North Beach. Charming in North Beach in San Francisco. Bye-bye, everybody. I love how you dance a rumba. Take some advice, please.